In the future, I have an upcoming project in which I need ammonium chloride, so I decided to make it. However, this method is not cost effective at all, and it's more for fun than anything. Ammonium chloride is used in all sorts of things from fertilizers to cough medicine and even glue as a binder in plywood. Though I'm making it to make some storm glasses in the future. So let's get started. The only two chemicals I will need is ammonia at least 5% or ammonium hydroxide at 10%. I bought mine at the local hardware store as janitor grade ammonia and some hydrochloric acid, which can usually be found in pool stores. First, we'll add 30 milliliters of ammonium hydroxide into a beaker and about 10 milliliters of hydrochloric acid into a flask. Both of these chemicals are gases dissolved in water and they fume at room temperature. When the fumes come together, it makes a thick white smoke, which is small particles of ammonium chloride being created. This is also very exothermic, so the solution will be heating up. For this reason, it is important to add the acid in slowly, as to not have anything boil and pop back. After a little bit, I mix the solution to try to make sure the reaction is finished. The only way to actually check if it's finished is to measure its pH and then add accordingly. This doesn't really matter though because you will end up boiling off any of the excess acid or ammonia either way. But for the sake of this video, I will get my pH to around 7 after something like 4 adjustments. A pH of 7 will indicate that the reaction is finished. We can see that I did add additional acid and there is still fuming, which also shows there is still ammonia back in the solution. From here we will boil off around 60% of the total mixture. I am doing this in a larger beaker with a huge box fan to the side and plenty of ventilation. Boiling off hydrochloric acid and ammonia is extremely toxic and could kill you. I turn on my hot plate and my stir bar and boil the mixture for around 45 minutes. After that, I take it off heat and remove the stir bar and pour it into a larger beaker to cool. I come back around 24 hours later and some of the other acid and water has evaporated leaving behind beautiful white crystals. From here, I just need to filter them off and I decided to fold up a filter paper and use gravity filtration. In hindsight, I should have used my vacuum filter because washing it with ice cold water still caused me to lose product. Ammonium chloride is extremely soluble in water. I use cold water to help limit this, but loss will still happen. From here I dry everything out, and to do that I just place some paper towel out and setting the filter paper out on top of it. In the end, I got around 1 gram of ammonium chloride, and for my future project I need about double this, so I will end up running this one more time at a larger scale to produce it. Thank you to all my Patreon subscribers for helping support my videos, and you can see their names here. In the next video I'll be doing a giveaway, so make sure to subscribe and check that out. Here is a list of all the videos I'm doing in the future, and until next time, have a great rest of your day.